Hello, Joe from Joe K Models here. So I've sealed in the airplane after putting the, the decals on and you can see there that I've you know sealed it in. It's very glossy. Um, like I said before, the decals went on really, really good. Um, but as you notice, when, you know, once you get the, the decal on there and you put the gloss coat, it looks very shiny, um, very new looking. And since obviously we've done all of this weathering, I would like to convey the point that, you know, this has been weathered along the same lines as what's going on on the rest of the airplane. So this one here, I just slowly started to do some weathering to it. Um, and all I'm doing um, is I have the sanding stick here, which this is an older sanding stick, so it's not whatever grit um, it was to start off with because it's a little bit smoother from using it. Um, I think this may be like a, a two or a 300 grit type of sanding stick. And then I'm just very slowly and very um, thoughtfully going over the decal with the sanding stick just to make it appear a little bit more faded and to, um, you know, weather it a little bit. Um, there's some other things that you can do as well. Um, besides this, um, you know, you can also take a very fine paintbrush and add some different chips to it using the, the base color. Um, I've seen a lot of people do that as well. Um, you could do a combination of both. You can also take the uh, base color in an airbrush and you can do a very light mist coat over it to fade out the decal as well. Um, you know, I've done that in the past or use like even just white and go over it to, uh, to fade it in. So because of the scale, I don't think I'm going to be adding, um, you know, paintbrush marks to it or anything like that. I'm going to see what I can do with the sanding stick. And if I'm happy with the way that it, um, it appears after that, I'm probably going to be good with that. So I'm just going to go over all of the decals right now and fade them in with the sanding stick and, and take a look at that. Once I'm good with that, I'm just going to um, clean off the model. So maybe with a damp, like a warm damp cloth, just kind of go over that, get all, any residue off and then proceed to um, probably to an oil wash is what I'm thinking here. Um, and actually like a lot of the detail on this already pops a little bit um, without even a panel line wash so I'm kind of bouncing a little bit back and forth what I want to do there but I'll probably go with a oil wash but you know I may I may change that up I'm not I haven't decided yet um, but so far so good um, everything is coming together pretty well just doing the the final last touches to uh, to the airplane before um, pulling the mass off and um, just adding that weathering before I get to that point so that's where I'm going to continue to next, so I'll be right back.
Alright, so I decided to go ahead and do a oil wash to the uh, to the airplane and I'm pretty happy with the way that this has uh, turned out. I think it does add um, definitely something to the model and especially on like this decal on the bottom here. Like to me that looks really good um, as far as it looking less like a decal and more like something that was painted on. Um, and I think that looks pretty good. So did the oil wash on there and while I was waiting for that um, you know to, to kind of cure overnight um, I went ahead and I started working on the uh, the sub assembly the, the wheels and there were a couple challenges along with this uh, the first thing is that the fit is not great on it um, it does not fit all the way you can see there's some some little gaps there but uh, no big deal you probably noticed in the last clip that I super glued it pretty much directly to um, the landing gear piece to the wheels so um, I need these to be strong anyway, so no big, no big deal. And because I'm sealing in the um, the uh, oil weathering with a gloss coat, I figured if I get these done, I can do the gloss coat over these as well. Um, another challenge that I had with this is you'll see there's some some round rings there, and these round rings fit onto this uh, landing gear piece. These did not go in there, so um, I had to use a hobby knife and then also this this filer just to make that that hole bigger um, and now I'm happy to report that that fits in there just like that and now I'm ready to seal this in with the rest of the airplane so that's gonna do it for this vlog but getting really close to the end now and I'll see you on the next one this is Joe from Joe K models